Hi, this is take six of my defroster video for my Factory 5 Mark IV Cobra. So I've got a vintage air heater defroster system that came with the car. Um, short story is that I didn't think I was going to have very much luck trying to get the two inch round hoses to any kind of ducting system. I had seen schemes where you put a plenum on the body side and maybe hook a hose up to it and it gets the um, air across car which is okay. This one's a little bit different, similar concept. I've got a plenum right here that's two piece that just goes over the uh, the round outlet of the heater core. And then I've got a, a plenum or a trough that's open. It stays on the chassis side. And I've got seals that run along here that pretty much coordinate with the bulb seal on the, uh, the front of the dash. So this is to get the air cross car and then I made a, a little set of veins that go on the body side. And this, the whole spacing and everything is the same that go with the, uh, the grates that go on the outside with it. So hopefully this will get me a little bit better defroster pattern. And the, assuming this works. Um, this is four pieces on the top because the 3D printer can't print something this big. Um, just to give you an idea of what this looks like a little bit. The plenum or the trough, whatever you want to call it, has a section like this, so you can use a bulb seal on one edge and a piece seal on the other. That's where my seals are. Then inside this plenum, the backside's just got a place for the, um, the air to go through, and then it fits the profile of the plenum or the trough. And I've got it set up so the trough's got little flanges on it so they can be put together and they key into this end here. That's the defroster side on the heater portion. Um, I made just some outlets that bolt to the two inch tube. Looks like this. Um, I didn't need any fancy vent. I just wanted to dump some warm air into the passenger side. This is it installed in the car. Um, I added a piece here that will rest on the dash to give it a little more stiffness. It's pretty stiff as it is. And then for the driver heat, I made another plenum or maybe a little cross car duct. So the hose just hooks into it. It's got three mounting attachments. Not sure if you can see them, but the idea is the air, you know, will come through here and blast into my footwell area. So that's about it. Hopefully this works. It's not proven yet. Um, if anyone's interested in this, I could try to work out a deal and maybe I could print some for you and ship them. Granted, this is unproven, so I haven't put it in the car yet. Check durability. Um, one other couple things. This shape was specifically set up to go through this tight area here, right? And then I just continued that shape all the way across. Um, in my particular setup, I made a mount for this Michael Everson or replica parts dash stiffener. So it sits on there and then on the other end, there's just an aluminum flat bar that I bent that bridges the three quarter tube in the front of the dash and it kind of rests on there. So the one thing I did is this is meant to be a little bit flexible because it's hard to determine exactly where the body's going to come down. That's why the bulb seals give you a little bit of play. And hopefully if the body's a little tight to this, it'll just flex down a little bit. And if it's not tight enough, this bulb seal will make up the gap. So anyway, that's my system. Hopefully it's gonna work. Um, I'll be able to drive this around a bit before I get it painted, so if something uh, doesn't work, I can revise it. Right now, the material that I printed in should withstand the temperatures. That's uh, another unknown, but um, they seem to be pretty durable. I tried to print an ABS, but that's very hard to print um, due to warping of the, the large pieces. Anyway, thanks for watching my video.